Don't rationalize, okay? Just think, pray about it, and take your time in your decision, okay? Because love blinds you. everyone this is jeffrey henderson welcome to jeffrey and sherry and innocent love thank you so much for coming on board today's message that i'm going to be talking about is called love is blind do not give into your emotions so you know where we're going right i mean this topic is straightforward you literally can hear that one line and you'll be done with it you can go home and you got your new lessons for this week but no there's a lot of detail with that and i want to talk about that okay and why the first question i want to ask is really like why is love blind where does this phrase even come from you know people always say this all the time love is blind you know the reason why you know we as human beings you know we are very emotional people you know we get very excited about new things in our life you know when something really awesome happens we tend to make mistakes or we we tend to make radical decisions because we're so excited and sometimes it can lead to making mistakes that's what i really wanted to talk about you know and when it comes to love when you meet somebody someone who's a brand new person a brand new girlfriend brand brand new boyfriend you know then you get so excited you know you get really like you know this is like the best person in my life you know because everything is new you don't know anything about that person you know the person is so mysterious so new so strange and that's what makes us as a person makes us really excited you know and there's nothing wrong with that you know we all have this excitement and you know what there but there's also a lot of people out there they have this excitement even now when i've been together for so long they've been married for like i don't know 20 years 30 years 40 years and they still have this first love to those people first of all i want to say congratulations you know that you have found a person like that that you still can be excited knowing that person for over 20 30 years and you still feel like you're still fully in love with that person you know that's a beautiful thing not many people have that but anyway let's get back to the topic you know you have this excitement you know you're so excited and this is where the danger lies you know because when you're so excited what happens is that sometimes we make decisions that are not good what i'm trying to say with that is you know you know you're in love you made a brand new person and for example hypothetically the person lives in a different state okay or even a different country you met this person for the first time whether it's online whether it is um whether it is um maybe you went on vacation to another country you met that person over there and he or she is so cute and or uh, handsome and uh you so ex you got together but that you both living in different countries you know what happens is that you tend to rationalize in your head and say you know what i'm so excited for this person i'm gonna move over him i don't know i just met you hey girl the dog don't bite unless you ask me <laughs> not not even realizing that you just met the person you're already deciding to move to that person move over to another country because you're so excited to be with that person and this is the blindness of love because like i said we don't see all the consequences right away because love is blind you know we're, we 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 want to meet that person right away we tend to make mistakes you know a lot of people for example get even scammed there's a lot of people out there they know the weakness of a person who is so in love that they put all their guards down and are completely blind and irrational on their thinking and there are people out there even like you know bad people that take advantage of that you know they go to these uh, online dating sites and um they pretend even to be somebody else somebody that they really like 
And what happens is sometimes they take advantage of that by saying to them, for example, you know what, I am a very difficult situation right now and um, I need some money. Can you please send it over to me? I mean, I, maybe, I don't know, maybe they say that I, I had an accident, I'm, I'm in a hospital and um, I cannot afford this bill. Can you help me? And because you just met the person and you so sort of love with that person, the blindness causes you to rationalize your decision and actually sending them money. Anything for Love is focusing on the wave of online romance scams. Now, these scams are costing victims more than a billion dollars, that's with a B, a year. Victims are all ages, including lots of men. Yep, men are falling for it too. So far this week, we have focused on the story of Kelly Gow. Her mom was a victim of a romance scam and it cost her mom her life savings and eventually her life. And what happens is that they will scam you and take away that money from you and maybe disappear out of your life forever or maybe they stick around and they keep asking you for more and more and more money. Scams are still running rampant across the country. One woman says she was taken in by the so-called romance scam. 56,000 people fell victim to it last year alone. NBC 15's Ashley Knight tells us the story of one woman who was taken advantage of by not one, but three different scammers all claiming to be in love with her. And there are a lot of people out there that really got scammed and screwed by that, by people like that because they're taking advantage of the blindness of love that you are providing for that person right now, okay? This is the third man Bonnie Limpart formed a virtual relationship with over the last eight years, oh, yeah. sending pictures back and forth, praying together, and talking about a life together. I will love you to my last breath. But all three men lived overseas and started asking for money months into the relationship. So the blindness of love can be very, very dangerous. You make so many rational decisions. You even make in your heart believe that you are so in love, even though you're really not. You're just excited about the person because you just met the person, okay? And you're thinking in your mind that you love the person, but you really don't. You're just excited because like I said, I, I talk about it in a different video, the definition of love and what love really is. Okay, so if you have not seen that, check that out. So I talk about the definition of love. But however, sometimes we mix the two together and we don't know exactly what love is. And we are, we're just thinking that we are loving, but we're just simply just excited. It's just like having a brand new car. You have a brand new car and um, you're so excited about the new car. You want to drive it every day. You want to just go outside and drive your car to the gas station or you want to go to the gas station just so, so you can drive your car. You know, you like the new smell of the car and just sitting in it and maybe even bragging about it. It is just because the car brand new and you're so excited you know and it's the same thing but when you meet somebody I'm not saying everybody a lot of people out there they're still in love even though they are been together for a long time like Cher and I we still in love and even though we, we've been together for like three years now but still um, the excitement is still there you know but it doesn't happen with everybody okay so it is so important that you really Listen to the advice that I have that if you are really excited about the person and like I said before, nothing wrong with being excited. You know, if you're excited and be excited, you know, I'm happy for you. However, also be wise in your decisions. You know, don't just rationalize and don't rush. Don't make decisions without thinking, whatever that might be in a relationship, you know, whatever that might be. Don't make quick decisions. Think what you're doing before you decide to do it. You know, hey, you want to move in with the person? You're doing it like after the first two weeks you want to move in? I think it is a bad decision no matter how good you think you know that person. If you only met that person and you only been with them for like two weeks, do not move in with them in the same apartment or move into their house or whatever. It's too early for that, okay? Just be smart, you know? Don't rationalize, okay? Just think, pray about it, and take your time in your decision, okay? Because love blinds you, okay? 
Be careful. And that's all I'm saying. And this is my message today. It was not that long. I was a little shorter, but I just wanted to get straight to the point with that, okay? So guys, with that said, if you like what you heard and you think you got some good information out of that, I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up, thumbs up button and subscribe and share this video. I would really appreciate that, okay? I see you next week. Peace out. Innocent.